All right, this is probably going to be the first tier list that I actually feel like I am qualified to do solely because when making the helmet tier list and the weapon tier list, I don't really have the patience nor time to sit down and analyze a bunch of graphs and charts and weapon statistics in order to find out what is technically the best weapon or helmet. However, I am a person who has spent far too much time within the land of Team Fortress 2, so I know a damn good cosmetic when I see one. Uh, to get a few things out of the way, I'm not going to go very in-depth for a lot of these, I'm just going to say I think they look nice and leave it there, because otherwise this video is going to drag on for quite some time, and they haven't been very entertaining in the other nine takes I've done of this. Some hats have color variants and I'm just going to be ranking what is in my opinion the best color variant. However, there are a few exceptions. Most notably, the one we're gonna be starting off with, which is the army cap with the UCP color. I absolutely despise this hat solely because I hate the universal camouflage pattern so much. Not only did the United States military spend four to five billion dollars to make said pattern, but the only thing universal about it is that it universally sucks at blending in with stuff, and it is universally hated by pretty much anyone who has ever worn it. Adding to that that I don't really like the design of the army cap, and you have the perfect definition of a garbage F tier hat. Similarly to the army cap, we have the Emercon hat. I don't like the color because it's bright blue and that reminds me of the UN helmet. So, need I say any more? And I don't like the boxy design of the hat, so I believe that it is also deserving of F tier, basically because I would never pick it up even if I wasn't already wearing something. Uh, and then finishing off F tier, we have the Deadly Skull Mask. The Shattered Face Mask just makes this completely unnecessary. And the Shattered Face Mask offers protection and looks really good, whereas this thing doesn't offer any protection and makes you look like an edgy airsofter, so I feel like F tier is a perfectly fair place for this thing to be. Alright, and then starting up with E tier, these are hats that, I mean, you might wear if you weren't already wearing something and you just found them, but you also just might not wear them. Uh, we're going to start off with the baseball hat that has the Superman logo on it. I mean, I guess if you're a scav, you'd probably wear this. But if you're a PMC, you already have access to the USEC and Bear baseball hats, which are vastly superior in every way. So this thing's kind of like, oh, you're a scab and you found one and you don't have anything on? Okay, you can put that on, but otherwise it's just meh. Uh, the army cap, once again, just not a fan of the shape of the hat. It's kind of boring, I just don't like it, and that's the only explanation as to why it is down here in E tier. Then we have the ghoul mask. This is one of the ugliest freaking things I've ever seen in my entire life. And the only reason that it is not F tier is because when it is on a cultist and they are sprinting at you without making a damn noise, it is the most terrifying thing to get jump scared by. But since you can't really do that as a PMC and you can't wear a helmet or a headset when you are wearing this thing, it's just not at all worth using as a PMC. So on cultists, A tier. On PMCs, it is shattering through the floor. It, it, it wouldn't even be F tier. This thing is like Z tier. Uh, then we have the Jason mask. It's just really unremarkable. I, I don't have anything else to say about it. It's just unremarkable. I honestly, whenever I name all the cultist headgears or the Halloween headgears, I keep forgetting this one's in the game, and I think that says all it needs to, in that you just really don't think about this one much. It doesn't leave much of an impression. Uh, then the respirator. If I'm being honest, it doesn't look that great. It's not bad, but it's not great, and I would never use this over literally any other type of face covering. A half mask or a balclava is better than this thing. And then, um, finishing up E tier, we have every single one of these sunglasses. The existence of another four pair of goggles and glasses makes all of these completely obsolete. Many of you already know which ones I'm talking about, but I'm going to leave it ambiguous for the sake of, I don't know, viewer retention or something like that. But yeah. Also, the Twitch Rivals one, they're stupidly expensive on the flea market. You would never wear them. They're just a collector's item to say you have a pair. Otherwise, nobody would ever use them. So that's why they're all in E tier. 
Coming up to D tier, we have the... This one's a little controversial, probably, but the Balclava. If I'm being honest, the only reason it is in D tier is because there are options that are just better that are at higher tiers. And for the sake of them falling down into each of their natural places, this has been put in D tier. However, if you were just to wear it, I would consider it a C or B tier item because when it's all you got, it looks pretty decent with pretty much anything. So yeah, D tier solely for the sake of other items being just better than it. But on its own, C or B tier, I think, is a very fair place for that to be. Uh, the boss cap. This thing is worn by the scariest bastard in Tarkov, in my opinion. Tagila is absolutely terrifying just to hear running at you, especially if you are not at all equipped to kill him. But, um... I would never wear this at all. I, I think the only reason anyone has ever worn this cap is because it's the only one that fits with Tagila's mask. Other than that, it's literally just a backwards ball cap, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, so yeah, I just think it's pretty unremarkable, and if it wasn't for the fact that you could wear it with a Tagila mask, it would be completely unused and irrelevant. Uh, then we have the Bushwookie hat. Um, the problem with it is, is that it doesn't match the color of like the bird cut and all the other green stuff in Tarkov. It's kind of like a hay bale, uh, greenish tan. And the problem with that is it's not very aesthetically pleasing, which is the whole point of this tier list. But also you can't wear a headset with it. So practicality is meh and aesthetics is also pretty meh. Uh, once they add full body ghillies, then ghillie suits, then yeah, I can see this being brought up a little bit, but as of now, it is D tier. Uh, the Twitch Rivals half mask, once again, it's just a collector's item. I'm not a fan of a bright purple mask on my face. Uh, I don't think it looks very good, so D tier. Then we have the GP5 mask. This thing is pretty spooky looking in some scenarios. But if I'm being honest, in the daylight, you look like an elephant with a giant trunk dangling in front of you. And also that filter is asbestos. So I don't know if you're using one of these gas masks, you are choosing between a slow and painful death at the hands of whatever chemical gas you are preventing yourself from inhaling versus a slow and painful death from asbestos related diseases way down the road. So either way, you're still gonna die from something killing your lungs. So yeah, probably not with this one. All right, C tier, the stuff that is perfectly fine. Um, we're gonna put the regular beanie, the cotton beanie, and the half mask in this tier solely because I think the cotton beanie and the regular beanie, they look pretty similar. There's not too huge of a difference between the two. So I think putting them in the same tier is fair. And when you wear those with a half mask, you can kind of get a pseudo face covering. It does look very good as a scav or as a PMC, and I like it a lot. So I think it is perfectly fine to put all three of these in C tier. And then we have the bandana. I'm going to be completely honest. When it is all alone and it is the only cosmetic you are putting on, it is perhaps one of the ugliest cosmetic items in the game. However, when you put on the aviators and the mustache and you put one of these things on, damn it, you look like an American GI in Vietnam and you look really, really cool. Um, maybe if they added face paint, I could rank this one higher, but because it completely relies on the aviator mustache combo, which from now on I'm just going to reply or I'm just going to refer to as the aviator combo. Um, it's not that great. So I think because it's completely carried by that, I think C tier is a good place to put it. Then we have the flamey mask. It's really just a slightly different half mask. I think they are very similar. Um, I prefer the half mask a little bit more, but this one can also look pretty decent with a lot of different cosmetics. So I think C tier is fine. And the police cap is just a slightly better colored uh, hat. It's not quite as good as the Yusek and bear hats, but you know, it, it, it looks all right. So C tier. And this next one might be a little controversial. I'm gonna have to put the cowboy hat in C tier solely because we do not have any revolvers in Tarkov yet. 
Once we have a revolver in Escape from Tarkov, I'm going to slap this thing on and sprint around the Norvinsk region trying to take out as many people I can with the big iron on my hip. Until then, we're gonna leave it at C. It's got potential to be skyrocketing through S tier, but for now, it doesn't fit with anything and it doesn't look that great, so C tier is where it shall reside for the time being. All right, moving into the land of B tier, the Lux Pro, I believe is what it is called, the green beanie, whatever, and the fleece beanie, as well as any of the bearer USEC baseball hats. They are very, very nice. When you wear these as well as like Comtax or M32s, you start to look like the guys from the raid episodes and those guys look very, very nice. So because of that and because they don't need the aviator mustache combo, I'm gonna put them in B tier, and when you do put the aviator mustache combo, they go even higher, probably up to A tier. But on their own, I think they stand at a very nice and solid uh, B tier. Uh, the Panama hat, when coupled with the aviator combo and the press vest, is the quintessential uniform of any Tarkov Geographic cameraman, and for that reason, we're just gonna, we're gonna put it at a nice solid B tier. Then we have the, uh, the Bush Ewok hat. This is gonna be higher than the other ghillie suit hat solely because you can actually wear a headset with this and it actually matches up with the colors of all the other green stuff in Escape from Tarkov. So it just looks so much better when you are rocking a full green loadout with this thing on. Uh, it's one of my favorite hats to use when I'm just not using a helmet. The beret, I think is, I think it's slightly better than the bandana hat however i think it is also kind of carried by the aviator mustache combo but it's better than the uh the bandana is so so yeah i think it's a very solid b tier and if you wear a green one of these i feel like you have kind of a uh, historical obligation to sabotage some of your own magazines with bad ammo or ammo that doesn't fit in your gun that way if anyone ever tries to pick up and use those magazines they get hosed um, but yeah, historical uh, references aside, I think that um, the beret is a nice solid B tier. Then we have the anti-fragmentation goggles. These just look really good when you're doing sets with helmets. Uh, they, they look better than a lot of glasses, in my opinion, when you are using a helmet. But if you're not using a helmet, then they, they can look pretty goofy. Uh, and then we're just going to speed through these face covers. The Momex. It just looks better than the half mask and the beanie, and it's also better than the balclava, so B tier. Uh, the smoke, I prefer the Momex over the smoke. I don't like the little plasticky bit in the front right there, but it vendors for a lot, so I brought it up a little. Twitch Rivals mask, it's literally just a cold fear, but with Twitch Rivals on it, collector's item, I don't really like it that much. Then we have the Shroud half mask, which is literally just a direct upgrade to the regular half mask, so we're just gonna bump it up a tier. And this one, never have I seen a bigger split in opinion. The GP7, I like a lot. I think it's an A to an S tier item. But a lot of people in my, I, I, all these items were ranked as a democracy in my Discord server. And when I asked what people thought of this one and I gave my input of an A, a lot of people also said A to S, but then the other half of them also just went F tier. I guess some people really just don't like the gas masks, but because of that huge split, I'm just gonna put it at B tier. But I, I, I do like it a lot. I think it works well with a lot of sets. All right, and then um, we're just gonna get to the face coverings so they're kind of boring. Uh, the Cold Fear Infrared, it just looks really, really nice, and I think it looks better than the Momix, and since the Momix was B tier, this one naturally falls into A tier. And then the two Schmegs, the Green Schmeg and the Tan Schmeg, or however the heck you pronounce it, uh, they look really, really good when you are completing either a Green Man slash Bush Monster set, or if you are completing a Tan Man set, they look phenomenal, that's like S tier. But unless you, if you are not doing that, then they can look very out of place and somewhat goofy, which is why I think that they belong in A tier. And then the, the pom-pom hat. I don't know. There's just something about this hat that makes everyone like it. I don't know why. I also just like the hat. I can't even describe. It's just a feeling, man. It's just a feeling. And it's a nice hat. So I think A tier is a very fine place to put it. Uh, then we have what is easily one of the best scav hats you can spawn with, the leather cap. 
I like it a lot. A lot of people like it a lot. And I think when, when you're going as a PMC, I don't think there's too much you can do with this hat that looks good. But as a scav, if you are wearing this thing, then you are wearing a holy grail of a hat, my friend. So because on PMCs, it's not as good. I didn't want to put it in S tier, but on scavs, it is definitely an S tier item. So we're just going to leave it into A tier. Love using this thing, especially if I'm doing a loadout with like one of the quad nod night vision goggles. It is so nice to just have that beak protruding outwards in the four eyes. It looks really, really cool. I really, really like this thing, but I think, I don't think it's quite an S, so we're just gonna put an A tier, phenomenal item. Um, this one might be a bit of a shocker. The mustache is an A tier item. And the reason it is not S tier is because there is one item that does a better job than the mustache, and you will see it very, very shortly. But, you know, boosts a lot of sets to make them better. Um, it also does kind of rely on the aviators to really sell it. It can look good on its own, but I think without the aviators, it pitters out a little. So I think A tier is fine. Uh, the Dead Moreaus and the Santa hats, they are just souped up beanies. So they belong in A tier, in my opinion. The Condor glasses are going to be here. I don't know what adamantium these things are constructed from that they are able to deflect armor piercing rounds as they are made of you know very very tiny pieces of plastic but you know space magic so a tier feels justified and then the ray bands which are the runner-up to the aviators they're very nice looking and they can be subbed out with aviators not all the time, but most of the time, so I think A tier is a very respectable place to put them. Starting off S tier, we have the Ghost Ball Clava. I don't think I need to explain why this thing is S tier. It's just a really, really nice mask, and pretty much any self-proclaimed Chad will be using this thing as soon as they can get their hands on it, unless they have like a gas mask or a pestily mask or something like that, but it's just a really good looking ball clava. That's that's all there is to be said. Then we have the item that is better than the fake mustache, and that is the fake white beard. I think it's so much better solely because you can use this without the aviators, and it will make any cosmetic item look good. So, bonus points for that. But also, unfortunately, I cannot grow facial hair, despite my Nordic heritage, which hurts quite a lot. So... I have to strap one of these onto every single one of my PMCs whenever I can to make myself feel slightly better about that. Um, so yeah, absolute S tier for, you know, making me feel less sad about my own inability to grow a beard and for just making every cosmetic item look infinitely better. Then we have the Michael Myers mask. I'm gonna be honest, I hate the look of this thing. I was gonna drop it all the way into F tier. But then the absolute genius BN Baku showed me the video he did where he and a bunch of his friends used these to disguise themselves as interchange mannequins and just completely bamboozle players. And I am a big supporter of that. That is beautiful to me. Automatic S tier. I will be putting a link to his video in the description. Go watch it. It is phenomenal. And then we have the Spirited Away mask. And the reason I l this is S tier is because when I was stomping through factory using a Saiga 12 and I was wearing one of these, it really felt like this picture right here. And this picture is one of my favorite on the internet. It is too beautiful. Automatic S tier. Then the bomber beanie, which I really do believe should just be a skin for the Killa helmet. I mean, they're basically the same thing but very nice cosmetic. Um, the Captain Price hat looks phenomenal with pretty much anything. This mixed with a fake white beard and aviators or even without the aviators is one of my favorite things to do, which is why I'm so sad I'm not finding fake white beards that often anymore. Oh man, is this just a phenomenal cosmetic and I absolutely love it. The reason this is an S tier is because of the very hidden stat in the code of the video game. That is, whenever this is being worn by a scav that is using a TAWS or an MP133, they automatically increase their accuracy by 900% as well as their range by 1200%. Because holy hell, the amount of times I've been headized by buckshot by a scav wearing one of these things is way too damn high. 
They are terrifying me, and I will bait out my teammates if I see a Breaky wearing this and using a shotgun. Morality be damned, my teammate is gonna be the bait, and if they die, I'm staying the hell away from this scav. Uh, then we have the Slender Mask. There's not too much to say here other than it looks really funny if you're wearing a tan U-lock as well. And it's a very nice addition to the Tan Man gear set. And it's, it's a little spooky, so I think S tier for spooky is perfectly fair. Then we have the Shattered Mask, which is just a... I don't think I need to explain why this is S tier. Good protection, and it looks decent, and it's really cheap. Um, absolute S tier. A lot of people recognize it from, you know, watching The Mandalorian, but as somebody who grew up with the Star Wars The Clone Wars TV series, and just being able to dress up as a clone is absolutely awesome and i love that a lot so s tier for myself and for a lot of other people and then we have the round frame glasses these look very nice if you are going for a either either you're cosplaying as leon the professional or the bad guy from indiana jones and the uh, raiders of the lost ark so s tier the aviators don't even need to explain why these things are s tier you all already know, and that is why they are S'd here. And finally, we have the welding goggles. Now, when you put these things on alone, they look kind of goofy. They don't look that great. But if you mix these with a ski mask with holes for eyes or a tan schmeg, you then look like one of the sand people from Star Wars. And honestly, just thinking about getting a group of guys together, all dressing up like that, and then all taking double barrel shotguns into Tarkov and just running at people while screeching like a sand person. That's a beautiful thought, and for that reason, that is an absolute S tier. Well, that'll about do it for all the cosmetic items in Tarkov. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. That really means a lot to me. Um, let me know if you would be interested in another tier list, um, like armor or maybe the clothing that Ragman offers for your PMC. Let me know if you guys would like to see that, but, you know... Once again, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end, and I hope you have a good day. And I don't have a way to close this video, so...